Hello and welcome, Cancers. Hi, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How are you doing, loves? Welcome back. Welcome in if you're coming in for the first time. This is going to be interesting. Um, I've been here for years and I can't wait to see what the uh, Spirit Guides have for you for December. Show us, Holy Spirit, what we have for Cancer in love. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Cross watchers are always welcome on my channel. However, be respectful because this is for um, Cancer. All right? If you're in love with a Cancer, you might be interested in what's coming up for them. All right? If you are a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, yeah, things are happening. Your last reading was really good, you guys. Oh, wow. So this reading is until the middle of the month. Excuse me. This is December's love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Again, my readings, as I always say, oh, my God, they just want to pop out like mad. What are you guys going through? <laughs> They just really want to flip. Oh, my goodness. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. We are calling upon the divine. We're calling upon Holy Spirit to help me to read as clear messages as I possibly can for my cancer lovers. We have gift, giving, abundance, wish fulfillment. Show me more for cancer in the month of December, please, Spirit. We have closing a chapter, um, changing your destiny and going in a different direction, perhaps. What else do we have for Cancers, please? We're looking at your love life for the month of December from the 1st to the 15th, generally speaking. Oh, somebody's a star. Somebody's healing. Someone's healing. What are you healing from? Show me, spirit. You're being guided in a new direction. You're being guided by uh, your guides and angels. All right. Cancer, I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you. It'll cover everything we need. And then I will be using my other deck to determine how you're going to get along in December between Aries and Pisces all the way through. So thank you for being here. Thank you for be sure to like that, like the video so other cancers can access this particular reading. Um, I thank you for that in advance. And if y'all have, um, thank you for those of you who have already been so good to me. Sent me gifts, love gifts, crystals. I love you guys so much. Yes, open for business, baby. Here we are, cancer. What's going on with my cancers in love? My sweet cancers, my fellow water sign. Okay, show me cancer, please, Holy Spirit. Somebody's negotiating an ending. That's what must be what this is, hoping to get their fair share out of the deal. This could be with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What's crossing you? The devil. Somebody that insisted on making your life miserable or locking you into something that was not productive. Could be a Capricorn. I don't know for sure, okay. What does this devil mean? They kept promising and promising and promising and promising and promising, but never produced. Yeah, never produced. They were only into the money. They just wouldn't share it with you. Someone has not done good with you, and I'm not happy about it. Show me what's on the higher mind of cancers in the month of December 2022. Judgment. Revival. Healing, bringing back your wellness, your wholeness, your hope, and your guidance. Also, putting down burdens, getting rid of the burdens, getting rid of the heavy weight, freeing yourself up to move. What has been the biggest thing that they've dealt with? Third-party energies and being extremely, extremely tired and burned out emotionally from trying to deal with people that drink, people that with that cheat, people that are greedy, people that are not for you. What are you what are you go what are you doing right now, my beautiful cancers? You pulled back into your wisdom, you pulled back. And you are now watching things from a different perspective, a higher perspective, a divine perspective. All right? My beautifuls. Yes, you are. Yep. Yep, you are. For the majority of you, I can see that to be true. No matter what, you're going to pull back and you're going to reserve your energy. You're going to learn everything you need to know about who you are, where you are, why you're committed to that. What what does it make you feel like? Your future, your destiny is changing. 
So your destiny is changing. Show us. Spirit, generously show us. To new love. I knew it. I knew it. Ha! I knew it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Self-love, pure love, new love, a gift from God. Wow. How are you being seen at this time, though, in the month of December? How are people seeing you? How do people see cancer at this time? My God, my hands are wiggly. Cancer, someone rising. Venus, please show me. They see you as holding back and moving on. I'm out of here. This is Cancer's own card. My divine alignment is elsewhere. So people literally see you holding back and being patient and not being frivolous with your energy. Okay? What's the environment that Cancer finds himself in? Right now, you're still trying to heal. You're trying to get into the fullness of love that you and strength and a brand new renewed energy. You've got it coming. All right. So right now, this is the environment that you're in, perhaps, and you're just healing. You're afraid you might not get justice in this situation. This is a concern of yours. What will happen with that spirit? There's negotiating. Negotiating terms. You know what? What will happen? Whoever this is, Aries, um, I don't think you have to worry about that. I think that uh, there's always fights when it comes to um, righteousness, but remember God is your portion. So whoever this is, God's got them in stasis. They're on hold and there's nothing they can do. Their hands are tied. Bear with it, okay? What's showing up? The outcome for you is that you become extremely educated on temperance and patience and balancing your energy and the Holy Spirit. God says, I'm going to give you the victory. I'm going to give you the crown. You will win this. Oh, my God. Hmm. New love coming for cancer. Give us an idea who this is, this Ace of Cups. Who is the spirit? Who is this for cancers in the month of December? That'll bring them victory and love. Ooh, an emperor. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Indeed. You know, that looks to me like God, though. Comes in with the harp on. Your faith has made you well. Cancer. Could be Taurus. You may be dealing with the Taurus. You're going to have an option. Pretty soon you'll be moving in a new direction. Guided. Yes, guided in that direction. Wow. Just, wow. Let me have a romance card for my cancer people. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, guys. Thank you, romance angels, for the love that you tell us is coming. Show me cancer's energy in December. Trust, needing to trust. Someone may be flirting with you and just shock you right, right out of your skin, male or female. You are dealing with deception. That's why the devil was crossing your path, some deceitful, deceitful being. But very soon, you have something wonderful coming. And you have chemistry with this new person. Let's see. This emperor could be a Taurus or it could be a Pisces. There you are, Cancer. Let me see. Clarify this. Pick it up, please, Spirit. For the collective. A water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So the Lord is helping you, whoever you serve, is helping you to find a new love. Very soon, you've been put through deception, you're done. You're going to get the victory because you've learned when to speak and when not to speak. You learned who to speak to and what to say. That is good advice. Very good advice. 
All right. Let me see what's going on in the energy field of this person that was deceptive towards you. Show me them. You're very, very watchful over this person, paying attention to signs. They were watching you, manipulating. They have a damaged inner child. You, Cancer, have temptation. That's the devil's job. Get you off course. And dreams. Making them dreams come true, please. Your primary message from the love oracle is you need to look deep within inside your heart and then feel my love for love. My love for you is deep as the ocean. Someone's dreaming about this. Someone has been asking the divine to bring you into their experience, into their life. For those of you who like the word we have, this is what the sovereign Lord, the Holy One of Israel says in repentance and rest is your salvation in quietness and trust is your strength let's see how you're doing with every other sign now okay so cancer we're going to take a look at you aries to pisces how y'all are going to get along in the month of december what you can expect what the energies look like okay so bear with me a second while i gather up get into this for you wow it's just a really a tough call isn't it dealing with this devil this deceptive person and then pulling yourself back and gaining insight and wisdom discipline self-respect you get a you get a judgment you get um, something works in your favor babies all right spirit holy spirit thank you for cancer love for me thank you cancer for hitting the like button thank you if you're new that you are Awesome enough to hit the subscription and hit the all bell so you can get all my stuff. You want to be notified because um, I can tap in very well. Here we go, Cancer. Some of my favorite tarot readers are Cancers anyway. Cancer, someone rising Venus. Tap me into Aries to Pisces. How does that look for Cancer in the month of December? All right, love. December shows up as somebody, this is on the bottom of the deck. This shows that somehow you're going to get exactly what you need. The Six of Pentacles is reciprocity, and that means whatever it is, it's going to balance out for you. Okay, Aries and Cancer, the Eight of Wands, the Page of Cups, and the Three of Wands in reverse. There's a lot of talk and a little bit of action. Why is the Three of Wands in reverse? Because someone just can't seem to get out of their head. Why? They're seeking justice on something and balance. They need to be balanced. You got an Aries who's imbalanced, okay? That's what I see there. All right, Taurus and Cancer. King of Swords in reverse, Eight of Cups in reverse, and the Page of Swords in reverse. Absolutely not. No. King of Swords upright is an honest, righteous man, individual, male or female. Clear cut, not too emotional, straight to the point. It looks to me, though, like this person is absolutely disrespecting you. Now, they're angry. They could be narcissistic in nature, and you turn them out. Eight of Cups in reverse, they really wish they hadn't walked away. Page of Swords is in reverse. What does that mean? Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. It might have been someone you were connected to. Um, could be a, a, the energy. They could have had Sagittarius in their chart. What does this mean? Queen of Wands. So this Taurus um, walked away and went towards a Queen of Wands. And they wanted you to feel lousy. But um, you don't. Because they, they weren't upright. So now, no to Taurus in the month of December, at least for some of you. This may or may not relate. If it doesn't relate, don't hate. 
If it doesn't apply, let it fly. That's the truth. All right. Gemini on Cancer. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Wands upright. And the Seven of Swords. Oh, boy. Clar clarify the Seven of Swords. Four of Cups. I can honestly tell you that you are not about to let yourself be juggled by anybody. You're going to get victory over this. Three of Cups in reverse. Cheating. You're going to get victory over that. Gemini is not so pleasant at the moment for Cancer. Cancer, Cancer. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Magician in reverse. And the Nine of Cups. So this tells me that Another cancer is not getting their wish fulfillment with you because they don't want to do the work. So therefore, they don't want to do the work. It can't possibly grow, right? That's what I have for you in December. Consider that. All right. Cancer and Leo. Ace of Cups, love, new love, the hangman, Pisces energy, the world card in reverse, saving a relationship. Someone is saving a relationship with you because they love you. They may be in lockdown. They may be held up. There may be something going on with them. But this is this is love. And the energy is moving you in that direction. All right? Yeah. That's what I see for Leo. Leo looks good. Looks like love. Looks like new love. Okay? Virgo and Cancer. We have the Two of Wands, choosing a direction, making a choice, the Hierophant, using their faith, using their, their basic beliefs, and the High Priestess. Oh, wow. How do they view you? Six of Swords, they think you're the cat's meow. They think you have the answers. They know it because they're in the High Priestess energy. They're not going to tell you right away, but they're trying to decide. Should I go towards this cancer or not? I think so. Yeah, I think so. I think this is going to be a strong relationship with you and some Virgo. I think so. Yeah. I think this has, this has a possibility of longevity for somebody. Consider that when you're, you know, when you're making choices. So that's Virgo and Cancer. Libra and Cancer. Eight of Swords upright. Nine of Wands in reverse. And the King of Wands upright. Eight of Swords means someone doesn't see something or doesn't want someone to see something. Possibly hiding the fact that they're burdened. But they're also very much going forward towards you. It's a foolish mistake. You have a Libra making a mistake here. They're coming after the King of Cups, which is you. Because they love you. But they're not very mature, are they? They're going to come with pain still in their soul. Do you want that? I don't know. Five of Pentacles. They're going to talk to you about somebody that left them out in the cold. Are you ready for that frank discussion with that Libra? Oh, my gosh. Scorpio and Cancer. Queen of Swords in reverse. She's a bitch. Seven of Wands protecting their energy and the star. So you might have a... Someone that's working against you, um, a Scorpio, Page of Pentacles, in upright. What does that mean? The devil in reverse. You guys have been dealing with a real bitch. Um, the Queen of Swords, when she's upright, she has boundaries and disciplines and she's loving and she's communicative, not very emotional. But when she's in the reverse, she's a bitch, a backstabber. She's the, 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 the one that stirs up trouble emotionally and spiritually in someone's environment. She's making some kind of an offer, and you're protecting your energy because you're a star, and sh this is a devil. This is a wit wicked person here doing something wicked. And the Two of Cups is in reverse, trying to affect a love relationship and prevent it from growing. I think you need to have a reading about this cancer, this Scorpio that you're with, um, because um, they're not they're not doing good by you. Um, protect your energies, okay? Protect your energies. Jesus, man. Sagittarius and Cancer. 
We have the Lovers Upright, the Knight of Swords in Reverse, and the Queen of Cups Upright. Oh, this looks good. You have a choice of Lovers. You have a Knight of Swords, which usually means someone coming in really fast and furious to speak or do something fast and irrational. But right now we see someone being extremely temperate and taking their time because there's love here for you. Sagittarius. Yeah. Someone's very impatient and can hardly wait. They want you to unblock them. They love you. They want to come forward with an offer. Sagittarius wants to come forward with a love offer for you. Will that be a good thing for you? Maybe, maybe not. It's a tower, and towers are shocking events. Yeah, it could be an emperor. It could be under divine order. You might consider it. Pray about it before you take this Sagittarius back. All right? Or take on a Sagittarius. Capricorn. Ten of swords in reverse. Getting over incredible defeat. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Not working on anything. And judgment in reverse. Not able to come back. I figured that was a Capricorn that was crossing you. Wheel of Fortune, they are not the one for you. They are not your destiny. They are not single. And they are holding back and greedy. Bye. Sorry, Cappies, not, nothing against you. But whoever you are in this relationship, you might have needed to hear that. All right? Aquarius and Cancer. The Fool in Reverse. The Hermit in Reverse. And the King, the Knight of Wands upright. Um, honestly... That's a triple now. Five of swords in reverse. This person doesn't. This person. Oh my God, I don't like this person at all. This Aquarius is a full of shit. They gossip about you behind your back. They're not using common sense. They're not wise. They haven't pulled back and taken time to really examine what they're talking about. And they're going around the neighborhood talking about you. Three of Pentacles in reverse. You're not going to build with this Aquarian. That's for sure. That's a no for Aquarius. Oh, my God. Not all you Aquarius, just somebody particular. Pisces and Cancer. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Ten of Wands in reverse. Five of Wands upright. That's not only a no, that's an absolute hell no. Because if they're not coming forward with an offer and it doesn't look like it'll last, the idea is to put down the burdens. Because they're carrying enough for everybody. Six of Cups in reverse. Someone you've known a long time. You tried so much to get away from this. This is an empress and she stirs up trouble. Or someone, or you might be the empress. But the sun is coming to help you through this process. Yeah. So, let me take a look at... Um, my cancers, that was interesting. So clarify for me the new love coming for cancers. The empress, someone who can build with you, someone who can grow with you, the sun, Leo, healing, um, and who else, please, spirit? The knight of pentacles. You absolutely do have something coming. Yes, yes. Be strict about who you see and who you, who you visit with because the devil breathes down your back trying to get you sidetracked off your journey. But Cancer Man, look at this. Beautiful, long-term relationship, a baby, healing, a lovely relationship based on truth, based on divine blessing. It is what it is. I don't need to say any more. Well, we have an Ascended Master for Cancer, and that would be, see the other person's point of view. Get your freedom. You're very close to achieving your goals. Time to release negativity. Your dream needs a practical plan. Expect powerful change. 
make sure that you're looking at the bigger picture no matter what you decide cancer i hope you have a wonderful um december and that you're doing well i wish you love healing wholeness a good relationship honest self self-love and abundance Love you very much. Thank you for hitting the like button. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for showing your wonderful support. All right. Namaste, my angels. Take good care until next time. Bye, Cancer.